Adventure. Oh, it's all dark. I stabbed you first. You may be wondering why we are out when it's dark. You merely adopted the dark. Well, this isn't why we're up this early, but these people set up this market right here in front of where we're staying every day. Runs till midday and then they tear it down. Full on setting up all the stalls, doing everything every day. Incredible amount of work. But why are we up this early? Here we are. Wait. This is why we're here. <laughs> That's Regina. Hi. <laughs> well, look at this what guy. What the hell do you have on there? Oh yeah, probably can't even Look see at me. you. We came here for Lowell McGregor. We actually adjusted our trip just to come here for this. I gotta say, thank you, Lowell. This is amazing. Good morning. Let's go to Pompeii. I cannot wait to see your channel now. <laughs> you guys are jaywalking. True. Pope blessed us. It's okay. They're not kidding. They got yeah. to see the Pope. They're not even Catholic. That's right. Regina's Catholic. Okay. We're heading into the public eye. Time to mask up. There is a big mask mandate in Rome. Mascarina. The cab can only fit three people, so Lowell went off to get another cab. The ladies and I are heading to the train station. We're taking the train from Rome to Naples, where with any luck, we'll meet up with a tourist train called the Campana Express. I speak no Italian, but thankfully the cab driver spoke Spanish. How did you almost beat us here? <laughs> I got a call on that. Let's go catch a train. And the band is back together. That's right. The train station in Rome? Pretty darn nice. While well, the gates of the tracks look pretty high tech, they didn't work all that great, but we did manage to get through. Gate change. Off to gate three. And we're off. As a uh, sunny oh, pressure point? No, it did not. Since Katie and Lowell both get motion sick, we gave them the forward facing seats. Yeah, no, I'm not the biggest fan of fruit. Oh, thanks. Express. Oh, hi, you can buy the ticket here. 1740. <laughs> Our train guide says be here no later than 840. It's 840. <laughs> Hello, Hello. I don't know where. It's, it's a, 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 I don't know what it is. Just checking our tickets and then we'll be on down to the Campania Express to head out to Pompeii. Pompeii. Oh, oh, they're getting coffee. We have to leave. There he is. Assume the position. Gotta march to the beat of your own drum. adopted the wind diffuser on my microphone as a pet and named it Fluffy. <laughs> Maria, Chris, Katie, Regina, the Queen. We've got to check the green pass to make sure that we're all vaccinated. To the first time, yeah? Pompeii was a thriving city in ancient Rome until it was buried in ash during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the year 79 AD. The origins of the city date back to the 8th century BC. I visited here in 1992, and to be honest, it was kind of a free-for-all. You can see a few erotic paintings. In 1997, Pompeii was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the preservation and conservation efforts have greatly improved since then. That's Vesuvius. If you hear a rumbling, you'll see us running. But it ain't gonna help. To the right, you know, there is a villa, a huge villa with a space in the sea with terraces going on. Because, you know, but Pompeii was abandoned. See oh, it's the Basilica. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for justice. Yeah. Pompeians created Legos. Oh, that's not ancient at all. It's from 1994. Okay. The tequila 
the bull, you know, they need it. And this is the ancient Pompeian coffee bar. <laughs> There's a little snack stand set up here in the ruins, so we stopped off because, well, you know, we like to eat. Something really good, ham and cheese. Surprisingly good, and the coffee, amazing. Snack Shack, yes, and brand new espresso. You can see the chariot tracks in the stone from 2,000 years ago. Crazy. Hey, lovely lady, would you love to sit in the sun with me? Hey, it's Regina! Hey! Where you been? Okay, I just wanted to show you these like uh, these mosaics, you know, the cave can beware of the dog. Huh? Okay, we can't go in there anymore. And I'm really impressed that they are taking care of the site way better than they were in the past. But when I was here like 30 years ago, we totally walked in there. Where well, they were cooking. These are the original ones. We just learned this is the original uh, Cold Stone Creamery. Caligula? Uh, Caligula was uh, uh, after Tiberius. The fawn house. Because there's the fawn. that were found in the bowl, you know, say yes. The bakery. Mm -hmm. This one is like a What did you get, Regina? Oh. Uh, the Sorrento sandwich with uh, yeah. a nice complimentary ricotta with tomato. I'm in Italy. I'm having pizza. Uh, probably a toast. It's called Procolo. One of the typical names of... Uh, it's a grilled cheese. <laughs> and the grilled cheese with bacon. This Artichokes with bon ham and cheese oh, on a really crispy bon one. Bon appetito. Okay. I got Enjoy. pizza sometime and then Katie's ricotta. That's not your ricotta? She, no. she can't eat cheese. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> ah, I shouldn't eat cheese, yet I still do, much to Kate's chagrin. I am a, the messiest eater. I will destroy a plate. I've never not. And also, let's talk about this. I destroy every napkin I touch. I got a corn pizza. Sounds corny, but it's true. I got the pizza diavola. The devil's pizza? That was good. That lunch was delicious. I'm going the wrong way. I better get my head in the game. Hit by a car, losing my group back at the train station, but the day's not over. That validates me. <laughs> you don't need your validation. I don't need your validation. You don't want to get on or the train? do I? So we have to validate our ticket, and yes, I got the Snickers. And then we can get on the train to the next place. A lot of stuff is closed. Police! Ask back on. La mascarina. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Happy New Year! Exactly! What wow. in the world? This looks like the Terracotta Warriors! Pit 2 is still an active dig site. Why do I have Martika playing in my head? Herculaneum was also buried by the pyrocastic flows of Mount Vesuvius. You know us just wandering around through 2,000 year old cities. It's kind of what we do with my mask over my eyes. Oh, Regina, how'd you get all the way up there? Salvation! You found gods, did you? God led me to the banyo. I asked for the restroom. Is that why you ran away? I, and, and they were like, so what is a restroom? They did. They were like, she had to explain to him what a rest, okay, what a restroom why was. Why you buy the tickets here and show your green pass? <laughs> it's a 2,000 year old kitty. Yeah. Herculaneum, it is 13 euros for a day pass. Petting the cat is free. Unless you're allergic, then it costs a lot. Free toilets are a beautiful thing. It was a smaller but wealthier town than Pompeii and was a popular seaside retreat for the Roman elite. 
excavations here have taken place more slowly than Pompeii, despite being discovered first, in large part because it was buried much deeper than Pompeii. These are the boathouses. Residents were waiting here for evacuation by sea when the pyroclastic flows overcame them. The scientists say they died instantly from the extreme heat. God, I hope so. To date, almost 400 skeletons have been recovered at the site. The intricate mosaics and fine marble tile used in flooring that exists to this day is an indication of just how wealthy this town was. Blueberries. Eat it. No, this may be deadly. <laughs> Are these just blueberries? Katie's eating random Herculean blueberries. It's like eating it. It's dry and it's got nut, um, nuts. It's got nuts in it. Got, <laughs> it's got seeds in it. That is nothing like, like I've ever tasted before. No. <laughs> <laughs> Katie said it's got nuts in it. The colors are striking. What colors? Here it's beautiful. Oh. God. Those colors. Oh, mamma mia. Wow, this is amazing. Just finished up with this 2,000 year old city, and look what's in front of us Christmas lights. And police lights, too. Thankfully, not for us. Bye, Mary. Thank you. That's Thank, you so Thank you so much. Okay, ciao. The police are very active here, but they are really small vehicles and really small streets. I don't know what that matters. Holy balls, look at all this. You tell Mary's a local, she doesn't even pause. Wow. Got a sacrifice for the gram, baby. Sacrifice for the gram. So, Mr. McGregor. Yes. What was your favorite part of today? Arriving at Pompeii, seeing it for the first time, and then ending the tour, looking at the plaster casts of the bodies that were trapped inside, and realizing that I'm looking at something that I've seen and heard about for my whole life, and now I've ha had the opportunity to experience it firsthand, live and in person with my friend Chris Willis. Live and, and for free. And Regina. Ah, they're up there. It's all about, it's, it's all about right. the boys. Boys night. They're like up there. There they are. I just had this awesome footage and this great interaction with some locals. It was wonderful, and they laughed, and we smiled, and we became one with each other. And of course, I wasn't freaking recording. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Merry Christmas. Quattro Napoli Centra. Thank you, sir. Stick it in the hole. Oh, popped up. And away we go. Maybe. Voila. Last word. Lovely lady, what was your favorite part of today? Uh, I would say the tile in the bathhouse at Hercules. Herculaneum. Herculaneum. Hercules, Hercules. And um, the mosaic through the bars at Pompeii. Okay. My favorite part of the day was rediscovering my past lives. I knew that somewhere in the back of my head I had a lovely existence on the, uh, the shores just overlooking Capri. And uh, that was my summer home. And then I, uh, I think I died though up in Pompeii. So anyway, it was a good memory to go back and see sort of how I used to live. Now let's hope the train comes. The rain is starting and this is not a GoPro. So we're gonna call this complete for a bit. And if the rain stops, we may pick up later. If not, awesome day. Your light's not, oh, uh, these, <laughs> these seats suck, lol. I know. <laughs> oh, pardon me, do you have any great coupons? <laughs> no. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <laughs> we have a cabin okay, attendant. So uh, coffee for you, do you want sugar? Oh, no, thank you. No? Okay. That's it. Thank you.
Grazie. Prego. Snacks. Our car partake. Got our own private car. We got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they don't let the first class passengers do whatever they please. And since we let our first class passengers do pretty much whatever they want, here he is. Next stop, Rome. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>